we are in the Eastern Highlands paradise of Nyanga. The area is renowned for its lovely mountains which add up to the breathtaking scenery in the terrain. The Nyanga Mountains, with an altitude of over 2,000 meters, are the first range of mountains from the Indian Ocean. Up in the mountains, there are several streams whose water cascades down the mountain slopes on its way to the ocean. Here, tourists can slide down the slopes of Adwala and plunge into a pool at the foot of the rock, a natural swimming pool. There is so much pleasure here. The vegetation in the mountains includes pine trees from where most of the country's timber is harvested. There are also these seemingly juicy apples and proteas. Several species of this exotic flower can be found in the Nyanga Mountains. They mostly come as shrubs that bear their colorful petals, which paint the mountainside. The effect is hypnotizing. Because of its cool temperatures all year round, Nyanga is an ideal habitat for the rainbow trout. It is not by coincidence that one of the best retreats in Nyanga has a trout prefix, Troutbeck Resort. These calm dams close to the resort are home to the rainbow trout. The rainbow trout, also known as the steelhead, belongs to the salmon fish family. It has a torpedo-shaped body and small fine scales punctuating its silvery sides. The rainbow trout has a horizontal pinkish band extending along its body and bluish to greenish spots on the back and sides. Here, the rainbow trout majestically swims in the cool, clear water, a habitat it very much enjoys. This fish's life can span as many as 11 years, but its age of maturity is between four and six years. An average four-year-old rainbow trout can weigh half a kilogram. In food terms, that is quite an amount let alone the quality. Today our host, Roger, and Chef Benjamin will braai the rainbow trout while basking in the beauty of Nyanga. We're in the open air today. You want to explain to me what's going on over here, Benjamin? Okay, today we are going to prepare a, a stuffed um, braai trout. Braai trout. Sure. Okay, what are you going to use for your stuffing? I'm going to use some, a little bit of some cheese. Black forest ham. Ham and some green pimento, some, a little bit of mushrooms, tomato and onion. Okay. Sure. Right, now how are you going to do this? You're talking about brying it. I see you've got a long stick over here. You're going to uh, skew it, stick it uh, through the fish. Sure. Chef, how often do you cook out in the open like this? Mm, as often as possible. But what we do, what we usually do, they, there are some groups which usually come, we have their request done, and then we can continue it. Right. Now, what are you serving this with? You look like you've got some potatoes over here. Are these parboiled? They are parboiled, but then I would, I would later on take them into the, close to the fire so that they keep on heating. Oh, I see. Sure. Right. Okay. So here am I. Squeeze a little bit of some lemon over the fish. Not forgetting inside the inside part. Now, earlier on, you mentioned to me that Beside these ingredients, you were going to put in some lemon and some orange. I find that actually a brilliant idea. The taste, I think, will come out because of the lemon and the orange. And the orange, definitely, yes. sure. Now, just stepping across behind you here and coming over to our fire, I can see that we've used some, uh, we've used the pine, pine uh, needles, sure. some pine wood. I think we're going to get some very lovely flavors out of this. Over here. Try to keep this going. Was what you only want from here is the the heat and a little bit of the smoke so that the trout gets the flavor gets of the, the pine. flavor of the pine. Yes, I sure. Think. I'm finishing off here, stuffing the mushrooms, the green peppers, a little bit of each, the ham, and as well as the cheese. I like that. Sure. I think we're gonna get some really lovely sort of flavors out of that. Okay. The stuffing it will bind on its own because we've got some cheese in there. As it will be melting, it will also make the binding very nice. Stuff. So I've done. Nice. Sure. Just give your hand in over there. Mm. The idea 
was to drive a skewer through the trout and bry it over the fire, but it did not quite work. So Roger and Benjamin resorted to the pan. Place that in there. Well, fortunately, as we know, these things always happen. It doesn't quite always work out the way you plan it, but I'm sure we'll be able to salvage something from this. So you make sure you, you don't have much of the flame so that it quickly slow it cooks very slowly. Okay. Very slowly. As we'll be cooking right now, the lemon juice and the orange juice will be will be coming out. And that's flavoring the fish. And the flavor of that black forest ham is just adding on to the taste. Sure. The pan flavoring will also get into the fish. Yeah. At least we'll achieve that part of it. Sure, we will definitely do so. Since we have power boiled the potatoes, we just have to take the potatoes uh, beside the fire. So that's that's one thing that I'm actually going to do right now, Roger. Okay. Let me create a bit of space over here. Mm. And then we just want to take them around the, around the fire. Mm. Looks like our fish is cooked. Ooh. Okay. Lovely. Make sure everything comes out of the pan so that it doesn't waste. With me, I have some green and red pimento. She's just gonna throw in the, the bottom of our pan. Okay. Also some bed marrows and some, some carrots. Some carrots. Sure. As our veggies are being cooked, I've got this sauce that I prepared earlier on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you've got a sauce? Yeah, sauce that I prepared earlier on. Thinking about our potatoes over here and wondering how they're coming along. Okay. We've got a, our potatoes here in our charcoal. Sure. Seem to be coming up pretty well. Smoke getting caught in my eyes. Yeah, but the smoke is the one which flavors everything. Everything. So that's what you're actually looking for. Mm, our vegetables on the side there. Lovely. Not forgetting our sauce. With our lemon wedges as well, orange wedges. Ooh, that looks lovely. Sure. Thank, Thank you, so Benjamin. Much. Thank you, Raya. Now, lucky me. Now, how's that for a day out in the sun? Lovely fish, spectacular view of the mountains. Mm. I can taste the lemon and orange that Benjamin's put to it. But what's really lovely to the whole thing is that black forest ham and cheese. It's not too overpowering. It just adds on more flavor and texture to the whole meal. Mm. Just look at that view. Mm. 